The sun gives out all types of electromagnetic radiation. It is infrared radiation that you feel on your skin, although it is not visible to the human eye. All living organisms also emit infrared radiation, and we can see this using special cameras which detect heat. It's important to understand that the more infrared radiation given out, the higher the object's temperature. As well as emitting infrared radiation, all bodies absorb infrared radiation. If a body is at a constant temperature, it will absorb and emit infrared radiation at the same rate. If an object emits radiation faster than absorbing it, its temperature decreases, and vice versa. An object with constant temperature also emits radiation with a continuous range of wavelengths. A black body does not reflect any radiation that hits it. It is an object that absorbs all the radiation that comes into its path, and no radiation passes through it. A black body is also the best emitter. It is the most efficient object for absorbing and emitting radiation. Because of its special quality, the radiation emitted is called black body radiation. Looking at how temperature links with the wavelength of radiation emitted, we can see that the higher the temperature, the more intense the radiation is at each wavelength. There is also a peak intensity, which depends upon the wavelength. The curve with the higher intensity also has its peak shifted to the left, compared with the peak with a lower intensity. This is because the shorter the wavelength, the greater intensity increase there is. So, when the temperature increases, the peak wavelength moves to the left because these wavelengths are shorter. The next section of this video is for higher tier students only. Certain properties of objects can determine whether an object absorbs radiation better or emits it better. An object with a dark matte surface will be a better emitter than an object with a light shiny surface. We can use these ideas to look at the temperature of the Earth. The temperature of the Earth is dependent upon how much of the sun's radiation is absorbed by the Earth's surface or the atmosphere, and how much is emitted from them. Without our atmosphere, all of the sun's radiation would be emitted into space, and the Earth's surface would not receive any radiation. This means the temperatures would drop very low. Also, if we didn't have any greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, such as methane and carbon dioxide, then infrared radiation emitted by the Earth's surface would not be trapped. This trapping of infrared radiation is important, as it keeps the Earth warm. 